Hi, I want to talk to you about 2024 and what I see as coming in 2024. Recently, this week, I was watching a movie I had made four years ago called The Illusion of Money. It's a movie that I'm so proud of, and I was watching it now, and I noticed that this movie now applies so much more than it did four years ago. In other words, I noticed that it's more understandable. It's more exciting. It's something that I'm so proud of. And I noticed that basically it was ahead of its time. There's a time that I made it. And there's a time where right now the world is more receptive to it and ideas that are coming. And I started thinking also about the first real huge shift that I had in 2011 and how much of the world has now in the last 12 years mirrored what I was going through. In other words, when I had my opening and my awakening, I really felt alone. I mean, there's obviously people on the planet that had had an awakening, but I noticed for me, I felt very alone in this. And it took years for me to start to see other people go through their awakening that had a similar tone to what I was going through. And I couple that with other work that I've done and things I've gone through. One of the things that I've realized is that if you're doing the inner work, if you're someone that is going inward, if you're someone that's meditating and someone that's leaping, you're always ahead of your time right? You're having revelations. And when you have a revelation, it's a new world that's birthing through you. So when it happens, you have to go through this phase of feeling totally alone because in the new world that's birthing through you, you have to gently purge out the old world and it cannot make the new world match you completely until you sit through the release and the goodbye of your old world. When you have an awakening, that is the shedding of an old world. And part of what happens when people have an awakening is they feel pain in their body. The pain is the old world still acting up and you're taking time to learn to mourn it. And it isn't until quite a bit of your attachment to the old world is gone that you start to see the world that you're currently in mirror the awakening that you had. So people that have really been going through inner spiritual shifts, which is a bigger and bigger group of people on the planet, go through a massive phase of confusion, loneliness, and then inevitably start to see glimpses of other people people having similar awakenings that they're having, having. And what I see is there is a massive quickening of awakenings all over the place. And it's almost like the collective consciousness is moving to a higher and higher, which really means a hearer and hearer frequency. And it is purging what is no longer useful and no longer true. And I feel like 2024 will be the loud collective consciousness really purging what no longer serves it. And also very quickly seeing glimpses of the rest of the world mirroring that. So if you've been someone who's like, when will the rest of the world wake up? I think 2024 is the answer. You're going to see so much stuff come to light, but also it's so much and so overwhelming that the body will have to purge it really quickly. Everything that's no longer needed will go. All of the characters that that you thought you were, the you that was a specific relationship, a specific idea, a specific job, a specific career, a specific ideology, a specific member of a family unit is going. And then you'll notice in this time, things are getting crazy and moving very, very fast. It's like you're on a roller coaster now. It's like in the old days, you were on a merry-go-round and you had this linear timeline. And now we're on a roller coaster. And if you accept that you're on a roller coaster and understand, I'm going to go through feelings of absolute confusion, absolute lostness, absolute chaos, but it's worth it because it's the purging of what I'm not. It's the looking at what's stuck in my body. You're going to really actually kind of enjoy 2024, but you can also rest in the idea that you're going to see a lot of people going through that. Just every old structure that isn't you is going to be collapsing. And one of the reasons that the world actually looks like it's falling apart 
is what is going is what people thought they were. But you have to remember, it's not what you currently truly are. It's just what you thought you were, which wasn't actually the truth. Like maybe you thought you were that job, that idea, that story, that plan, that planning, that planner, right? The scheduler, the one that controls everything. What's leaving right now are those aspects. And our only problem is we think that's us. And we ask ourselves, I don't know who I am without this thing. But the truth is you're actually going to finally know who you are because you're not identified with the false thing that was transitory and able to leave anyway. I really believe 2024 is going to be the loudest culmination of that. So yes, there will be a lot of chaos, but also there's a lot of people that are kind of starting to understand this is what's going on and moving to the other side. If you know what I'm talking about, please comment so that we can see that we're not alone. Like comment in the YouTube comments about how you are seeing something more than that you are just this small separate mm self. I believe 2024 is a much bigger tipping point where, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming to light, but it'll also be transcended really quickly because overall the collective consciousness is absolutely ready for that other side. So it's almost like the space is becoming a shaman for the birthing of what you truly are. And you will notice there will be more and more people who can actually be an unconditional loving space for you while you're going through it. Or you might be on the unconditionally loving space side. And we're moving more in true alignment with how the laws of the universe and nature and God are versus the laws of how things need to be according to humans who created an egoic construct and made love based out of attachment, made a lot of control, created a lot of rules in a way that everything's supposed to be. And you were in the structure of, I am this story, I'm this whatever relationship, I'm this label. And we're leaving that to, I am infinite, I am free. I am magic. I am all that is. You're going to be seeing that on a collective consciousness that inevitably after 2024 will normalize this. It'll finally start to become normal where you see the world actually showing you the true laws of nature and the infinite that you are. So you won't feel all alone anymore. So to the answer to the question that many of us have had, when will other people see this so that the world mirrors what I'm seeing? The answer in my eyes is 2024 and beyond, right? Because so many false things are going to be purged, false structures, false everything else. So... <clears throat> Open your heart and realize, yeah, we're on the roller coaster and it's chaos and you don't quite know what to grab onto, but you don't need to grab on to anything because the grabber is leaving. And what's on the other side is you in the now, an infinite, magical, oh my God, you're amazing being. I'm so excited about 2024 because I'm all in. And I told the universe, merge me with my soul, no matter what the cost. And it's doing that. It's doing that. But I had to know that's what's going on. And if you do not decide you're really participating with what it has for you, you might be in an energy of resistance to 2024 and want to kind of dance between the infinite that you are and the old structures that aren't true. My offer to you is to really choose this adventure because it's going to be a roller coaster, whether you're in or not, the more you decide you're in with it, the less insane the roller coaster will feel. But the more you argue with it and be your old story, the more loud and chaotic and heavy and feeling overwhelming the roller coaster is going to be. It will be a roller coaster and it's a big one. But at the same time, it's not bigger than what you are, which means you got to connect to the now. The now is so infinite and that's what you are. And if you think you're the past story, it'll be dragging you into your shift. You want to participate with it. So open your heart to something really magical. And if you get a chance, by the way, go to kylecease.com and watch my movie, The Illusion of Money for free. It's so exciting and bizarrely, now's the time where I think it'll make even more sense than it did then. It was so weird because I watched it recently and I cried my eyes out and I was like, I can't believe 2018 or 2019 Kyle just helped 2023 Kyle shift. 
it, it, it's ready now to be seen. And if you get a chance and want to see it totally free, go to kylecease.com, the links below and check out the movie, The Illusion of Money. I'm so proud of it. I promise you it'll change your life and it'll bring a fulfillment that most movies can't do. So go check that out and then open your heart to what it's offering, because I think that it's the setup for what 2024 is. Like, in other words, the illusion of money is kind of a preview of what 2024 is. And it was delivered in a time where I think that we weren't as ready to hear what it had to say as it as now is ready to hear. So enjoy the movie, open your heart to the roller coaster and get ready for a crazy, holy crap, chaotic, freeing, expansive, true you in 2024. Love you guys.